How are you doing? It's Joe back on the whiteboard, folks. Have you ever had a day where you just couldn't seem to get out from under a black cloud? You feel depressed, you feel down, and you just can't shake it. Well, here are three tips, three ideas, three concepts that will allow you to kickstart your day when feeling depressed and hopefully get out from underneath the cloud of depression. So first of all, set some small goals. When you're depressed, it's hard to think about starting anything because it just seems insurmountable. So set small goals, specific goals, things that you can do easily, and that will get a rhythm of accomplishment going for you. What am I talking about? I'm talking about, I'm talking about brush your teeth. Am I serious? Yes. Brush your teeth, jump in the shower, start getting productive, right? Clean the kitchen. Oh, that's too much? All right. Uh, wash off the cutting board. Take your breakfast bowl and wash it out and stick it in the dishwasher. You think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. Start little. The problem is too many of you are sitting on the couch with your long face. I'm not saying you don't have valid feelings. I am saying that you can kickstart your day by getting productive, son. Getting productive, daughter. Take the dog for a walk. Hey, and if you do that, make sure you bring plenty of plastic bags. I'm always short one bag. Get things going. When you get a little bit of rhythm of productivity going, you're going to slowly, slowly get out from underneath your cloud of depression, hopefully. Number two, picture the end game. What happens is you start moping around and you just cannot get in your mind the feelings that you'll get after you accomplish some goals. You can't picture the end game. So try to think about how you will feel after the task is done. So let's say you have to go to the store and buy some groceries. And you just cannot get off your duff to do it. It's just too much. You're in a funk. Well, try to picture how you will feel after you get the grocery shopping done, you put it in the fridge, you put it in the cabinets, now you got food to eat, you're going to have some nice pasta tonight, maybe you'll make some chicken and shrimp and white cream sauce, maybe you'll just kick, cook up some burgers, maybe you'll throw a steak on the grill. But you can't do any of that if you got no food in the house. So try to picture yourself eating that steak, eating that chicken and shrimp and white cream sauce, eating that farfalla pasta with, uh, with those little peas, the farfalla pasta with cheese and those little peas, and vodka, like a splash of vodka on top that gives it that little kick. I know you know. Picture the end game. Number three, you got to clam up that inner critic. Oh, we all got that inner critic, that endless voice that's telling us bad things. Oh, you should have done that. You could have done this. You should have said this. You could have done that. Why did you let him get, get away with that? Why didn't you do that? You could have done more. Why didn't you accomplish more? <laughs> what is that relentless inner critic? You got to punch him in the face. Punch that inner critic in the face and knock him down on the ground for the count. You can't let that guy run the thing. You can't let that girl run the thing. You can't let that guy take controls of your brain. Who's in control of your brain? Don't let that knucklehead drive around in your brain. Get him away from the controls. Punch him in the face and knock him down on the ground. Do not take prisoners on this. If you let that inner critic drive your brain around like he's in a rental that he's going to tear up before he brings it back to the airport rent-a-car place, you are in a world of hurt. 
you got to sneak up on that inner critic, put your put your right arm around his neck in a headlock, and then start punching him in the face over and over until he falls falls down in a heap. And I ain't even kidding. You cannot take any prisoners with this fella. They're dangerous. They are dangerous. The inner critic is an unrelenting thief, an unrelenting, unrepentant criminal that has taken your self-esteem and stealing your time. You got to get them out. Folks, those are three tips, ideas, concepts that you can use to potentially kick start your day when you're feeling depressed kickstart your day like you're getting up on a harley and kickstarting that thing into life folks that's all i've got for now until next time i'll see you then